The Royal Australian Navy is set to retire HMAS Melville, a significant hydrographic survey ship. This isn't just a vessel being decommissioned, it's a golden opportunity wrapped in steel and marine capability. The big question now is, what's next for this venerable ship? Scrapping and sinking as a target are options, but there might be a more strategic and impactful alternative. Imagine if the Philippine Navy acquired HMAS Melville. This scenario isn't far-fetched and could bring substantial benefits to the South Pacific region. Why? Because HMAS Melville aligns perfectly with the Philippine Navy's current naval strategy and fleet expansion needs. Currently, the BRP Gregorio Velasquez, formerly known as USNS Melville, serves as a major hydrographic vessel in the Philippine Navy's fleet. The addition of HMAS Melville would significantly boost their marine research and survey capabilities. There are numerous benefits to this potential acquisition. First and foremost, the technical assessment and transfer costs are essential considerations, but they pale in comparison to the long-term benefits. Investing in HMAS Melville would be a strategic move to enhance the Philippine Navy's capabilities. The marine research fleet of the Philippine Navy is currently lacking, and this acquisition would fill a significant gap. Survey ships like HMAS Melville improve the charting of vast maritime territories, which strengthens navigation safety and national security. Accurate and up-to-date charts are crucial for safe navigation and are vital for supporting maritime operations, particularly in a region with such extensive and complex maritime boundaries. Moreover, acquiring HMAS Melville would be a good test for the newly signed National Government Procurement Act NGPA. This legislation encourages the direct acquisition of excess defense articles EDAs, rather than through ACE letters, streamlining the procurement process. This opportunity could speed up procurement processes and demonstrate the efficiency of this new legislative framework. In other words, the acquisition of HMAS Melville could set a precedent for future defense procurements, proving that the NGPA can deliver real, fast, and effective assets. It would not only enhance the Philippine Navy's capabilities but also reinforce the country's commitment to maintaining a robust and modern naval force. Furthermore, this acquisition would strengthen ties between Australia and the Philippines, showcasing a commitment to regional security and cooperation. Both nations have a vested interest in maintaining stability in the South Pacific, and such a transfer would be a tangible step in that direction. The BRP Gregorio Velasquez, while having helped enhance the survey capabilities of the Philippine Navy, is now facing challenges due to its older technology and age. With the offering of HMAS Melville, the Philippines has the opportunity to upgrade its survey fleet with a younger and more modern vessel. The decommissioning of HMAS Melville and its potential transfer to an allied nation underscore the importance of maritime cooperation in ensuring regional security and stability. By offering this advanced vessel to its allies, Australia is fostering stronger defense ties and contributing to the collective maritime security efforts in the region. The decommissioning of HMAS Melville marks the end of an era for the Royal Australian Navy, but it also opens new opportunities for allied nations to enhance their maritime capabilities. This strategic move reflects Australia's commitment to innovation, modernization, and international cooperation in defense. As negotiations proceed, the transfer of HMAS Melville promises to strengthen partnerships and support the shared goal of maintaining safe and secure seas. In summary, the retirement of HMAS Melville presents a unique opportunity for the Philippine Navy to bolster its hydrographic and marine research capabilities. 
It's a worthy investment that promises long-term benefits, strengthens national security, and sets a positive example for future defense procurements under the NGPA. This strategic move could pave the way for a more efficient and effective procurement process, ultimately enhancing the Philippines' maritime domain awareness and operational readiness.